I actually came out of school before I came out at home and my school did not meet with my parents about what they were going to do but they did um, make me tell my parents before they would uh, be allowed to call me Henry. It was a huge transition for everybody and a lot of people were very nice. Take the case of Henry Brousseau a transgender high school student who spoke in opposition to a proposed bathroom bill in Kentucky. Even though I've been living as a male for some time I've been ex and been accepted by my friends and family as a male, I was being forced to use the girls' bathroom at my school until very recently. Because the school administration did not support my gender identity by letting me use the restrooms concordant with my gender identity, the kids on my school bullied me. The kids thought that because the administration didn't support my gender identity, they didn't have to either. And that is the whole point. I think it's driven by two things. One is the rhetoric that's coming out from politicians. They're using our community as political footballs and they're spreading lies and hate about our community. Couple that with social media platforms that are monetizing hate, that are monetizing lies. They're making money off of spreading hate. Imagine what it is like day in and day out to go through the world and not have people recognize you for what you inside are.